Hi, everybody. We're in St. Louis, Missouri, a town where they love singing the blues, and they are about to take to the ice here. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. The Blues will look to go on the offensive as they win the opening draw. Moves it quickly over to Phil. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Tolvin has got the puck in his own zone. Through center along the wing. Strong defensive effort. Can't maintain possession after that hit. The Kraken have it now. From point line, scores! Well, was that quick enough for you? Yeah, it was quick. You want to dictate pace, especially when the puck drops. And putting one in early, that's the best way to get it done. I love this snapshot from in tight, James, that beats the goaltender. But how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you got to have the will. Seattle's aggressive start has paid off because they've got one on the board. They've got one on the board. They've really set the table, James. It's all ready to go. The meal is about to be served because they have been all over their opponent right now, especially being the away team. You want to send a message early, playing real aggressive. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. Up by one, and you take a penalty, applying some pressure to the PK unit here as a power play as an opportunity to get the equalizer. The Blues have it against the wall. Now a quick pass to Hayes. Slides the puck over. He knows he's only one. And the power play works to perfection as they tied it up. Well, the power play unit knew it was at stake. They knew that they had an opportunity to get the equalizer in this game, and they executed perfectly. I think he makes a really good read here, James. He anticipates the play well and gets himself square to the shooter, but unfortunately, this one hits him and he seems to be a little leaky because it finds its way to the back of the net. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. The Blues win the draw. Neutral zone by Kairou. Picked up along the boards by Krug. From the right side, takes the pass. Sends it in on the attack. Here's a short pass to McCann. Up along the wing. Seattle's got the puck against the boards. Here's a backhand. Oh, the save. He stopped it. Wow. Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. The court's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. Larson's been struggling to put up some numbers, and it can be frustrating to head into a pointless streak and continue. When that happens, you start to get down on yourself, it can really affect your confidence. You gotta focus on the little things and try and keep good habits. Steps inside the line. Centering to the middle. Oh, scores! What a finish on the play! Placement, but 
but he had to get the one-timer off quickly, James, because he didn't have much time and space in that net front area. You know that they're going to close quickly on you when you find that that puck comes across. The Kraken have put themselves in front by a goal here in the first. Well, yeah, and there's too much game left here to just sit back and, and play with that lead, James. It's not cozy or comfy enough. They've got to find a way to push for more. And there's a little help from your friends right there from off the wing coming up with the puck. St. Louis has it in the defensive end. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Slides it quickly to neighbors. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. Sends it to the middle. And that's stopped. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Seattle's got a one-goal lead. Sundqvist won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Just wide. James, you know in practice when you do target shooting? Guess why? So you hit the net. I think he's got to get back to it and work on it. Moves it to Schwartz. Poked away by Falk. Picked up along the wall by Schwartz. Puck scooped up by Alexandrov. St. Louis is on the attack. Oh, and a good textbook hit there. Made the stop on that play. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Seattle's gained possession along the boards. St. Louis has the puck. Grabbed along the boards by Tucker. He's right, he's right. The Kraken have possession along the boards. Dismiss that chance. Great defensive effort with the stick. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. focus guys but don't be surprised if he jumps in on the attack Thomas can be a big part of his team's offense when he's playing the right way now these are in and they strike Peter once again yeah they do and their opponents down on their heels are deflated they gotta find a way to continue with the pressure be relentless and try and get another one on a deflected shot everyone always talks about the stick positioning how about the timing to get to the slot area as well and the ability to just tap it down and redirect it. The Kraken have started to make this look like a potential for a mismatch tonight. Already up by two here in the first. Well, good defense leads to good offense, doesn't it, James? You know that I'm always going to say that, and I think that they've been defensively responsible, and they found a way to hound pucks. The biggest thing, they've retrieved them, which has gotten them going the other way, and they have a two-goal cushion for their efforts. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. The Blues are getting two minutes for tripping. Man advantage takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. Well, they've earned their first power play of the game. A tone setter right here and an opportunity to look at the coverage on the setup. Sunfist gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Paneers has won the draw and they'll go on the attack. The Blues get a hold of the puck under man. The Kraken have taken possession along the wall. Bjorkstrand stick handling in his own zone. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Veneers has such great hands and great vision, and he gets in tight, trying to create some space with those magic mitts, but he's unable to pull it off. And he elects to play the puck. Seattle's on the attack. And lowers the boom with a big time hit. Wow, this is a message sending hit, isn't it? When you get all of your opponent and you're able to separate the body from Buck, you know you've done your job. Message delivered. Puts it on net, turns it away. 
What a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. McCann's at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. St. Louis wins the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And that's blocked away. Quick pass to Dunn. Here they come on the attack. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. From the open ice, they gain the line. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Quick feed to Shen. And that's blocked. So how's that for killing a penalty? That's turning a PK into a power kill, James. Not just shooting it down the ice. If you have time and space, take advantage with a shorty. Well, this is just a perfectly executed shot, James, as he drops into his butterfly position. He's trying to make himself as big as possible and get his blocker on it. He just can't catch up to it. St. Louis has some jump here in the back end of the first period with that goal. Well, they close the gap within one, James, and this is really critical that they have good habits. They continue to press and be aggressive on the puck. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. The Kraken have the puck in the defensive zone. Burakowski's got it against the boards. He scores! And a historical one as that for him! Yeah, three times a century, James. 300 goals, and that's a fantastic moment, incredible milestone for him. I love the way they were able to execute on this odd man rush. James really used the ice to their advantage, manipulating their opponent, the ice that they did have, and then they were able to capitalize when the shot came their way. Seattle's extended the lead to two goals here in the first. Well, you can certainly see that there's jump to their step. They have their legs underneath them, and they've really dictated pace and controlled the game. The Blues win the faceoff at center. And that's broken up. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Tries to get it to Kapanen. Great stop by Hofer! Now the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Seattle's execution has been on point so far here in this first period. Wright's got the puck and they'll go on the attack. And he made the save to keep that one out of the net. They put the puck into the offensive end. Slides it over with pace to right. From center, they get into the attacking area. The Blues take possession in the defensive end. Through center. The Kraken have gained control of the puck along the wall. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Scooped up along the wall by Dunn. And he takes the feed. The Kraken have it in their own zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. St. Louis has it near the wall. And he takes the dish. Sods cross the line and gain the zone. Oh, and he whiffs. Here's a chance. Oh, off his club. He just got enough of it. The is able to square up to the shooter right here. He's in a dangerous position in the slot area. What a great save, James. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Seattle's got a hold of the puck. Wright's picking up steam. Moves it quickly over to Saad. Here's a shot. Big save right at the end. Well, fun start to this one as period number one comes to an end. We've still got lots more still in store. Kids are coming. A clean sheet of ice beckons, and period number two set to get underway. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? 
Seattle's coaches will be loving that first period, James. I mean, it was a real impressive start. You can't script it any better than that. You dominated possession time. You executed, so it translated into offense. Now they got to find a way to keep it the same, push to the second, and try and put in a full 60 minutes. The court's going to hang on for the whistle here. It's been a ho-hum night for him. Well, it really has. He hasn't been tested, but it is a close game, and he's got to come up big. He has to stay dialed in and focused in this one. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We've got ourselves a 4-2 hockey game. The Blues win it. Puck picked up by Falk. Quick shot and makes the save. The Korg's helping his team with his rebound control and really keeping the puck away from the front of the net and cleaning up the trash. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. St. Louis goes to work in the offensive zone. Good shot, frees the puck up. Rest arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. And the referee caught that trip on the play. We've got a delayed penalty coming up. We'll have to get all of this sorted out here, James, as there's going to be multiple calls on this play. You're taking away the eyes of the goaltender, but they can also pop out below the goal line and present as an option. So multiple variations that can strike. And he slides it quickly to Sundqvist. Oh, save the play! Whoa. He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. He takes the feed. Oh, no! Not as it goes off the outside of the post. Shens recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Seattle's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. What a save! He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. St. Louis moves ahead with the puck. And he hangs on to the puck. Gets the puck in deep. Seattle's got the puck. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. The center feed! Oh, he comes up with a stop. The Blues have possession shorthanded. And that's taken away in the offensive end by Burakovsky. Here's a short pass to Shen. Quick shot! Big time stop! And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Seattle's moving it along the wing. Great heads up play with the stick by Crew. Quick feed down low. Moves it to Schultz. Takes the feed at the back end. Standing tall with the save. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Sunfist side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. St. Louis has won the defensive zone draw. Takes the pass. The Kraken have the puck in the neutral zone. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Trying a nifty move when you have good hands. Sometimes it works, sometimes you get denied, and that's what happened there. Receives the pass. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Veneers is ready for the face-off as we are about to resume this power play. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Blocked in front. And that's stopped by the core. Taken along the wall by Blaine. Jabs the puck away. Handles the pass. Oh, he caught him. Oh, and that's a thunderous hit along the boards. It's bone crushing, James. You feel that one right from your toes all the way up to your shoulders. Talk about finishing a check. And he slides it quickly to Sundqvist. Seattle's got possession at center. St. Louis will try to break out here shorthanded. Dumps the puck in. Tries to get the puck over to Beneers. 
Seattle's in on the offensive attack now. Shot! Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. And that caroms off a body in traffic. St. Louis with possession in their own zone. Battle along the wall. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. They go on the attack through center. And here's a cross-corner dump in. Look at this, two on one. Dishes it to Tobin and puck knocked loose after that hit. Thomas is about to get out of the box. Comes up with the stop. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. More than half the period left to play. Seattle's doubled up on them. It's now 4-2. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Both sides are evened up as the power play has expired. And a quick save on that one. The card's been excellent. He scores! Jumps on the rebound. buzzing all around the net and they get rewarded with that goal they're within one now puck grab by hayes st louis plays it against the boards and that's poked away by everly there's the whistle we'll get a face off after the goalie covers up st louis has had a lot of good looks offensively but they continue to trail on the second the blues win that offensive zone face off Moving it up the ice. Into the corner of the attacking area. Comes up with the stop. Scores! Here it is, the big 3-0! Well, 30 goals is quite an achievement, and it signifies an excellent season, James. That's why not everyone can do it. Coaches are always harping on pass execution. Well, this is a clear example. When the pass is crisp, and it's on the tape, it's on the money, it finds the back of the net. The Kraken have extended the lead to two here in the second. I've liked their game, James, in all three zones. They've played sound defensively, they've had speed through the neutral zone, and they've executed when they've gotten into the O zone. And they'll dump it in. St. Louis has possession of the puck. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Nice dish from the left wing. Cuffs up possession of the puck. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. And it's freed up over to his teammate with a nice kick pass. Feeds it to Hayes. And it's a quick pass to Shen. Gains the zone along the right wall. Sends a pass over. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. More than half the frame has been played here. Seattle's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Picked up along the boards by Schultz. Quick pass to Belmar. And that pass is redirected. Taken by Thomas. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Levels him with the hit. All alone! Oh, that's pumped away! Wow! I love this play, James. It shows confidence and he gets out the top of his crease and he assumes the risk with that poke check. Trapper save! The Blues have had a lot of things go their way tonight except for the score in which they trail here in the second. Thomas wins it. They'll go to work now on the attack. Great poke check on the reach. Seattle's gained the line and into the zone. Up, up. The Blues gain possession along the wall. And that battle along the wall comes to an end. 
The Kraken have control of the puck. Break away! Absolutely clutch at the stop! Oh, you gotta love this stuff, James. The game within the game, and this is a one-on-one -on -one battle, and this goaltender, he knows exactly where he's at, and he wins it. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Wright's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. Listen, Jane, the shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get, and he challenges. He's set, ready to go in great position and makes the save as a result. The Blues win the draw. Picked up along the wall by Letty. And now it's grabbed by Sundquist. And he makes the save with ease. Wright's got the puck now in his own end. Quick feed to Dunn. Backtracks with possession back inside the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Dunn. Moves the puck. Here's a short pass to Neighbors. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Here in the late going of the frame, no shortage of offense on display tonight on the ice. It's a 5-3 game. Shen's won the draw. Jocelyn for the puck and he loses control. Seattle's got it in their own zone. And now he moves it quickly to Veneers. Oh, how did he stop that? What a save by Hooper! Wrist shot from the slot. Makes the save with the trapper! Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from and he makes the save. Across the line along the left wall. And that pass attempt is deflected. St. Louis takes hold of the puck. Gaining momentum along the wing. Fires it on net. And a great save. Moves it to Everley. Now he takes it over the line. Here's a shot! Gives them nothing in front! There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. St. Louis still trails here late in this second period, but they've had plenty of good scoring opportunities. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Quick pass to Torpchenko. The Kraken have gained possession. Seattle's got it in the offensive zone. St. Louis plays it along the wall. Sends it in deep. The Kraken have gained possession off the wall. Quick feed to Borgen. Now a quick pass to Burakovsky. Here they come up along the wing. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Krug. And now it's over to Torpchenko. Fire it! Shot! And he hangs on just as time runs out. 40 minutes to play in the books. Both teams will get one last chance to catch their breaths, and then it's on to period number three next. Players are set, officials are set. Third period action is coming up. There's been no shortage of firepower after the first 40 minutes, and we are underway here in the third. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Seattle's ahead right now, and that's the operative word right now, James, because this has been back and forth. This is all about high-flying offense. I know that you love this type of game. Hooks it away in his own end. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. What a glove save by Decord! in this period. Seattle's got all sorts of content for the highlight shows tonight. They lead at 5-3. Paniers wins possession in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Eberle. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. They fight for it along the boards. Takes the feed at the point. Walks up from the point! There's the whistle and a much-needed one at that 
Cyril. Well, everyone takes a breath of fresh air here as they're able to reset as they get chaotic in their own zone. They've lost their coverage. They get the whistle now. St. Louis has generated a lot of shots on net, but they still trail here early in this third period. They've got to finish at some point. Trying to gain a step. He's in. What a save on the play. And he slides it quickly to Bjorkstrand. Great reach with the hook check. And it's kicked away. Seattle's gained possession along the boards. Can't hang on to the puck after turning it off. The score! And that's back-to-back snipes. Well, it feels like there's a wave of momentum, and it has certainly changed here. You can get the opportunity, but you have to execute. That's two in a row. It always amazes me, James, to see how quickly these shooters can get the puck off of their stick. I mean, they can shoot off their inside leg, their outside leg. It doesn't matter, but what does matter? The positioning from that spot area. You know that if you get all of it, you're going to tag one home. Seattle's playing almost like they want a day off here tomorrow, Cheryl. Yeah, I'd say so, and you always look forward to a day off, and this coaching staff has got to be impressed with this team tonight. You know, the ability to get the puck to net, driving the pace of play, and just having really great habits, consistent effort right through the game. Schultz moves the puck. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. The Kraken have taken possession in their own end. Seattle's got him along the wall. Great defensive effort breaking up the pass. Moves it to the Big offensive zone. Ball. Seattle's got the puck. Through center along the wing. Here they come on the attack. From behind the net. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Pass to the paint. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. This is the number one play on. Well, you work so hard to get these opportunities, and you have to find a way to execute and take advantage of your position on the ice. The Blues have had more chances offensively, but they have not been able to convert trailing here in this third. Seattle's got a hold of the puck. Looking for space inside the D zone. Coughs it up at center. Pokes the puck away. St. Louis gains a hold of possession. Here's a short pass to Saad. St. Louis on the attack. Here's a chance. Oh, and they can't connect on the pass because it was broken up in front. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Seattle's looking to break out of their own end. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Puck scooped up by Scandella. No room for that one to get through. Dumoulin's got the puck in his own zone. Moves it to Tolman. Seattle's got the puck along the wall. Takes a shot. Oh, what a glove save there. He read that perfectly. Centers are set. Face off, ready to resume play. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Decord. Picked up by Veneers. Into the offensive end now. We got a penalty coming up here. And another call against the home team and these fans of, I think they've had enough. They've had enough in there. Officials in for the players. This is so frustrating. You try and kind of get the temperature of the way the officials gonna call the game, and real tough to read when you get three in a row like that. Seattle's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, they've already scored tonight on the PP, James, and looking to really thread the needle again on this one. Their movement, their adjustments have been excellent thus far. Oh, Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. Seattle's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Hofer's gonna give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. 
Sunfist ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Off the face off, they take the puck. Slides it across to Krug. Looking to set up offensively. Sends the pass over. Poked away in the neutral zone by Scandella. Tolman is going to play to the corner. Scores! He does it again. It's a little while so well he's at it. Yeah, it's 50 point, James. Nothing to shake a head at. Hey, I mean, he can finish, he can distribute. He's doing it all this year. That's exactly how the coach would have drawn it up, James. I mean, you move the puck around the outside to disrupt the coverage. You open up the middle of the ice, and then you get a glorious shot chance, and you capitalize. Excellent work. The Kraken has put in a complete effort tonight. And, I mean, we're close to the finish line now here, Cheryl, but, wow, they have really looked dominant. They have, and they've had the killer instinct. Sometimes when you get a healthy lead, you can take the foot off the gas pedal, but they're not. They're going for it right to the end. Denies him in front. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Gains control of the puck here at the line. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Quick pass to Tanev. Dishes it to Dunn. A ton of goals on the board tonight, and you know that both teams are looking to pad their stats. A lot of players in on the action, and that's got to give you confidence and make you feel good. Denies him with the save. My goodness, the pressure really building here in the offensive end. A simple save by McCord. And he denied that opportunity. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. The Blues have played well tonight, creating all sorts of scoring chances, but they still trail here in the third. McCann's won it off the faceoff. Schultz takes the puck. Steps across the blue line. Takes a shot. Makes the save and putting out the fire in front. Seattle's got possession here in the neutral zone. To his teammate! And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. The Blues will play it from the defensive zone. Oh, making his presence felt with the hit. Couldn't catch up to that pass. And he easily stops that one. And he slides it quickly to full. Denies him again! Man, James, he shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. needs to finish on one of these scoring chances here if they hope to even things up late right in this third period. Clay resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Here's a shot. And he stakes that one with the club. Who had the edge? Carlin's standing by with the answer. Dunn's been fun to watch as he's been able to generate more offense, guys. He's getting my vote in this one. And he takes a shot. zone allowing for the blue line to change things up and he loses control here here's a shot tremendous stop by hofer <laughs> official signals for the players to get into position and we're about ready to drop the puck <laughs> alexandrov's won the draw in his own end now let's see if they can clear it Seattle's got it along the wall. Puck dumped in. St. Louis has it near the wall. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Fires it. Oh, comes up with a kick save. And he takes the feed. And he blocks a shot. Great defensive play. Ahead of steam now towards the front. And there's 
a save. Take it along the wall by Scandella. Takes the feed. Fans screaming for a shot before the buzzer. Harrison from the point, and that's blocked in traffic. There's the horn, and that's the hockey game. Well, a solid victory, and you really got to credit both ends of the special teams here, Cheryl. Sometimes when you got a lot of specialty teams, in particular the power play, you can kind of get lulled to sleep with all that time and space. But wow, did they ever execute. There was urgency right across the board. Thanks so much for joining us. We had a great time. Hope you did too. For all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski. Good night.